Well, this morning, we have the sexy and stylish columnist and novelist Candace Bushnell. She's the original writer behind the infamous Sex and the City, and more recently, Lipstick Jungle and The Carrie Diaries. The second installment of The Carrie Diaries, Summer and the City, is hot off the press and a must-read for all of you fans out there. Candace, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us on the show. Well, good morning. It is so good to see you. And I have to tell you, I mean, these books have just taken off. Obviously, the movies have done phenomenally well. Now, this book is actually a prequel to Sex and the City. Tell me about it. It, it is a prequel to Sex and the City. And, you know, I feel like the characters in Sex and the City, you know, most people became familiar with them maybe in the late 90s, maybe in 2000. Right. But the characters actually come from a very specific time period and sort of place in female history. And there are 30-somethings in the 1990s. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't be, be who they are unless they had a very specific uh, kind of life experiences in the 80s. And, and they really come out of 70s feminism mm -hmm. when, for the first time, women were being told to uh, go to college not to get their MRS, which is their Mrs., but to actually go out and have a career. <laughs> right. And it threw women into the, the workforce, and you had a group of women who were experiencing a life that their mothers certainly never experienced. Yeah, that's and, true. And so it's out of that that you end up with the characters in Sex and the City. So well, you, for me, oh, sorry. No, what I was saying was I thought that was interesting because when you talk about a young Carrie Bradshaw in the Big Apple, it sounds like she's going to be getting into a lot of trouble, having the time she, of her life. Yes, she does. She does. Because one thing that's great about that time period was there were no helicopter parents <laughs> they could you could not get in touch with your kids easily there were no cell phones and phone calls were expensive right. so i mean that it really uh, you know that's was is really the idea of sex in the city that um, people come to new york and they form their own families mm. and in some ways it was necessary because it wasn't that easy to stay in touch with your family back home. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But she does get into a lot of trouble. Not <laughs> terrible trouble. <laughs> she kind of gets a big head and she, I mean, the, I, I actually love Summer in the City because it's such a, it's such a true story of what happens to young people when they first come to the city. She has a little bit of beginner's luck and she thinks, you know, it's all going to work for me, and I'm going to be famous, Aww. and I, all my dreams are going to come true, right. and I'm going to be a writer. And then it all comes crashing down. <laughs> As it so often does, right? We have these big aspirations. As, they come yes. crashing down, but then we rise again, which is what I think is so amazing. And it exactly. sounds absolutely amazing, Candace. And I know that you've been labeled as a number one New York uh, Times bestselling author. Congratulations on that. Uh, what what does you. something like that mean to you and to your career it's a it's a good label it's probably one of those things mm -hmm. that, i mean it's fantastic and you know no one's complaining and it's wonderful um and it's the kind of thing that i i, I wish it happened to me when i was 25. why do you say that that's interesting why do you say you wish it would have you happened? know because when you get when you're older um you know one has so many ups and downs mm -hmm. in your career and and I think that you're, you're really, really appreciative and you don't take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. At the same time, one of the things that one learns to do is you really, ha you really step back from what happens after you write the book because the, your career is really about doing. It's, mm -hmm. it's really about the act of writing. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, so that's, that's really where I put my focus and my energy and try not to you can't get too attached to to those things no that's um, true it would be nice if one could but it's kind of like mm, it doesn't really keep you warm at night no you're absolutely right about that although and, i'm not complaining i'm no, very I was grateful <laughs> 
<laughs> there are other things to keep you warm at night, my dear, I am sure. Now, I know that you say the Carrie Bradshaw characters in your novels kind of like your alter ego. If you had one piece of advice for all the women out there, what would it be? Uh, well, I always would say worry less about men ah. and worry more about your career. Yeah. And it's, it's, and interesting, I do, interestingly, I do feel that Sex and the City has gotten that message across to a lot of young women. Mm -hmm. And I do meet 25 year olds who say, oh, you know, I'm not thinking about getting married. I'm not going to get married until I my career's worked out and I have more things organized in my life and know who I am, which I think is is really really smart. Um, but today it's actually necessary. Uh, you know, if you look at the economy, it looks like the men are the ones who are you know, you know, they may be more unemployed than women are. Um, so I think the smartest thing that young women can do is it's really like not worry about the guys, worry about going to college, doing well, figuring out what you want to do in your life, getting experience and learning how to have a roof over your head because you're going to need to take care of yourself. No, there's, there's no question about that. That's uh, great advice. And thank you so much, Candace, for being with us here on the show this morning. Best of luck to you. Good to see you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And again, check out Candace's new book. It is called Summer in the City.